What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Corey, Mr. 24 7 Aesthetics. Back coming with another video for you guys, y'all. So, had a little situation yesterday. Almost died. So, those of you who know me know I'm extremely allergic to sunflower seeds. Like, type, take the seed, touch my tongue, it's over for me. Like, super allergic. So, I was in the gym yesterday. Well, Earlier the week, I went to talk to one of the managers and he was telling me about one of the bars in the vending machine that I should try it. So I was like, okay, cool, you know? So I go in here, yesterday I'm like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna try this one. I've been waiting to try it anyway. So I bite it, tastes real good, right? So I'm like, oh, oh, killed it. Then next thing I start feeling a little tingling on my tongue, I'm like, what's going on here? So then I felt, got feeling like something I see in my throat and I was like, okay. I know what I think happened ain't, it ain't happened. I go in the trash can, grab the wrapper, oh, look at the wrapper. Third ingredient on there, and for you guys that don't know, like some of the, about nutrition labels and stuff, when you go to the ingredients, the first ingredient on the thing, on the listed in the ingredient section, is what, what the, uh, whatever you're eating has the most of, and then towards the very end is like the least amount so it starts off by listing like what's the most what's is the lar which has the largest amount of content in your bar or shake or whatever and then second third fourth fifth so on so on and there it was in third place of the protein bar sunflower seed butter first off i've never heard of sunflower seed butter who's making butter from sunflower seeds anyway that doesn't sound appetizing so, pretty much, I had a abort mission. I was planning to pull a heavy deadlift. I was trying to hit 600 today. That day, I felt like I had it, but then I started getting sick. Threw up in the bathroom, came back out, got the people to help me get the weights up, rushed to CVS, got me some Benadryl, and uh, went to the house, and then it all broke down. It was bad, I was losing my voice. Yeah. Could barely stand up, had to lay down, uh, was throwing up all over the place for like solid three hours and stuff. Unfortunately, it didn't mess with my asthma this time, but boy, let me tell you, I was hemmed up. But Bay came to the rescue. She came, made me some soup, homemade soup and stuff. Brought me some ginger ale, started feeling better. Then, um, slept it off. I took a hot shower, blows my nose to clean out my uh, sinuses and all that stuff. Then I went to sleep, woke up feeling better. So now I'm gonna try to hit the gym again. But I said, this time, I ain't eating nothing and I only drinking water. I ain't messing with nothing in that daggone vending machine. And I lost my voice a little bit, so I, so if I sound a little froggy, that's why I wanted to come to you guys and make some type of uh, video or content today because I'm not sure how the workout's gonna go because I'm feeling pretty tired, pretty weak, but I wanted to come and get a good sweat in and stuff. I still got like light food on my stomach, so it's nothing heavy, so. Not sure how it's gonna turn. I might just go in there, do a little bit of everything just to get a sweat, get a slight pump and then leave. Because again, I just, not, I'm feeling better, but I ain't feeling great. You know what I'm saying? So I want to tell you guys that, give you guys a precursor of like what's going on with this content. And since I'm not sure how the recording is gonna go in there, I just want to give y'all a quick review on Be Ready from Become Nutrition. Get a little thumbnail. <laughs> got a couple thumbnails. <laughs> you got to pull out the video, man. It makes my life a lot easier. So, Be Ready is a pre-workout from Become Nutrition. If you know, if you heard of it, Become Nutrition, then you know where it's from. If not, it's um, from Jeff Logue's, um personal trainer, actor, uh, fitness model, all that good stuff. And um, so he has this. He has uh, Be Ready was a pre-workout. Be Lean was a fat burner. Be Pro was a uh, vegan protein. He has Be Clean, which is like hair nails and skin like uh supplement for those and then he has like b multi which is just a multivitamin and stuff like that and he has b heart was it like a test testosterone booster or some crap like that i don't have that but um so as you can hear i don't know if you can hear but i literally got like a half a scoop left if that i was trying to yesterday when i was gonna work out i was trying to make one scoop so i probably have less than that um so my reviews on it 
Well, it's my first time. This is the first pre work I ever pre uh, pre work I ever took, and actually it's pretty good. So the first day I took it, I don't know if it was because I had a lot of food in my system or whatever, or I wasn't used to it, but it did nothing for me. Like nothing. I didn't feel it at all. But then the second time I took it, I actually you know did exactly eight ounces and I um did it 20 minutes prior to my workout at like literally on the dot i started working out 20 minutes later i started feeling it a little bit and then after that for the next couple sessions i definitely was feeling it it was giving me hyped i see myself get a little bit more focused that was the biggest thing i was more focused and like ready to work out and just knock out the uh workout opposed to like um super a bunch of energy Oh, I didn't have a bunch of energy. Naturally, I have a bunch of energy. I'm always hyped up. But, like, my focus, I can tell my focus is, like, there. It was, like, okay. I was zeroed out everything and even my music sometimes. And I was able to focus and not to work out. So, from that aspect of talking about um, uh, laser beam focus, I, I give it that. It's um, It definitely comes through for there. And it talks about having major energy. I do. It does give me a little bit of energy. But I'm already geeked up half the time. So, I can't really tell a difference because I'm not a low energy guy. Increased muscle mass. Um, not sure about that. Uh, I've been gaining muscle and getting strength and stuff like that. I, I wouldn't necessarily equate it to taking this, but it's fair to say since I've been doing it, every time I work out, it could help. You know, so I give it the benefit of doubt there. And then intense pumps. Okay, now I give it the intense pumps because the pumps do be very, very intense depending on what work I am. Like, for example, if I take this, be, uh, be ready. And I do arms, like, it gets crazy painful. Like, the pump is, like, so crazy that it, like, actually hurts sometimes. So, I like to take it when I'm doing big compound movements, like, big squat day, big deadlift and stuff. Um, because I, it'll help me engage some of the smaller muscles that are in those movements. But um, when I usually do full, like, a, like, a, like an arm or legs or something like that, or shoulders... I just simply do like a half a scoop because I don't want to get too pumped up and then I can't work out and then it's a problem. But usually when I do legs and stuff, I do like a one and a half scoop. I made the mistake of doing like a one and a half scoop on arms while well, my freaking biceps is about to explode and all that stuff. And then I didn't even know if I'm getting a good pump or not because I was so pumped up. So then, um, yeah, so that's how I caution. Gauge your body. Like you kind of got to play with it. Start l real light, like half a scoop and add more then add more, and then add more, and then eventually you'll know the perfect amount that you need to go ahead and uh, get a good pump, get a good workout. But yeah, overall, I gave this a uh, 8.9 out of 10. Um, it didn't really give me a lot of different energy, but everything else it said it did up here, it pretty much did. So I like it. I recommend it. I'm going to get it again. Um, probably the only one I'm going to use besides intra pump from um uh, beast mode jones i want to try that one but this is good uh probably the green apple flavor oh yeah taste test green apple flavor tastes really good it could use a little bit more green apple like a little bit heavier but still good so like i said they i give it an 8.9 out of 10 something i would recommend to friends and i've already done and if i didn't use that i wouldn't put it on my channel so jeff logs shout out to you some good stuff right here man and as a first time user, because I, before I never used none of this stuff, first time user, I get why people use pre-workouts and stuff like that. It definitely helps and, and help you get out of a rut if you uh not really feeling it today. So, like I said, I'm about to go get this pump. I'm going to work off my TFX Extreme program uh, today. I haven't, I haven't worked off of that in a while, so I'm going to do that. I want to squat, but since I'm feeling a little weird, I might deadlift instead. So... Like, comment, subscribe, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what pre-workouts you take and stuff like that. And um, I'll get back to you next time. Peace.